Remove the metering roller from the pan and take out the wash-up felt. Now the support rail can be removed as well. The pan can be cleaned with a brush and some wash-up solution. Reinstall the support rail. And now you can put in the new felt. Install the metering roller. Now you put the pan and the wash-up roller back together and put the whole device back into the press. The whole device can be adjusted with the shown screws. Refill the wash-up device with wash-up solution up to the mark. The complete device can be locked with one small rotation. Close the guard again. The compressor is underneath the feeder and is accessible after removing the guard. The operating pressure has been preset at the factory so that the pointer of the manometer is in the green area of the scale. When loosening the screw at the glass bulb, you can drain the condensation water. Please tighten the screw again. The air filter of the pneumatic compressor should also be checked from time to time. Pull out the filter cartridge and blow it clean. If it gets dirty very fast, it has to be replaced every six months. Please also check the air filter of the pressure vacuum pump regularly. Just loosen the screws and you can remove the filter cartridges. Using compressed air is best for cleaning the filters. filter cartridges should be replaced if they're too dirty. Put the filters back in. There are seven grease nipples underneath the feeder. Every month the supply grease gun applies a quarter of a stroke to the central lubrication. During lubrication, the press has to be in operation at minimum speed. Please close the guard again. Lubricant spray has to be applied to the pile transportation chain once a month. Maintenance of the delivery chains is just as important. It's very easy to remove the dirt with a brush. Please remember to keep the chains free of powder and well greased. Also apply lubricant spray to the delivery chains once a month. The gears of the cylinders should be greased every three months. Oil is carefully applied to the bearings of the gripper operating shaft every three months. 
The nipple on the impression cylinder has to be greased every six months. Open the top guard to grease the bearers of the cylinders. It's best to apply the grease with a brush. Close the guard again. Correct press settings and adjustments ensure long-lasting print quality. For changing the blanket, you have to slowly inch the press forward to the position where blanket clamp shafts point to the feeder. Open the guard. Push the forwarding rollers to the sides to get more room to work. Lower the feeder frame. Turn the hexagon head screw until the pinch rails are almost vertical to the cylinder gap. Press the rear blanket pinch rail against the spring toward the operator side and pull it out of the clamp shaft. Hold on to the blanket and the underlay sheet and inch the press backward until you reach the front clamping bar. Push the front clamping bar against the spring and remove the blanket and the underlay sheet. Now you can clean the blanket cylinder. Only use calibrated underlay sheets of 340 by 473 millimeters or 13 and 3 8 by 18 and 1 half inches. Measure the tension with a blanket cylinder gauge. The new blanket and the underlay sheet should come up to about the same height as the bearers. The undercut of the blanket cylinder is 2.3 millimeters or 0.091 inches. The pressure between printing plate and blanket should be between 0.12 millimeters or 0.005 inches and a maximum of 0.15 millimeters or 0.006 inches. Put the new blanket into the front clamping bar and inch the press forward a little bit. The front edge of the underlay sheet should be just at the edge of the cylinder undercut at the print start. Please be careful when inching the press that the underlay sheet is still parallel underneath the tension blanket. The blanket has to be tensioned after inserting. Please check the correct positioning of the underlay sheet. The blanket needs to be tightened again after a few hundred impressions. Put the forwarding rollers back into their position. Close the guard and lift up the frame. Open the rear guard and remove the water pan. The dampening unit in printing unit 2 is a complete unit and can be removed for cleaning and adjustments. At first, you have to remove the two splash guards. They should be cleaned once a week. Detach the control knob for metering the dampening solution. Loosen the screws on the side with the operator tool and swing the swiveling lever down. The whole dampening unit can now be removed. Please make sure that the ink distributor is positioned correctly before reinstalling the dampening unit. Install the dampening unit.
Swing the swiveling lever back up and tighten the screws on both sides. Then the control knob for metering the dampening solution is attached again. We will now show you how to remove and install an inking roller. For removing the third inking roller of printing unit 2, for example, you have to push back the journal boxes on both sides. The inking roller can now be removed. Reinstall the roller and lock the journal boxes. For adjusting the rollers, you should put in some ink. Yellow or orange are best suited. Distribute the ink. First of all, you have to set the ink form roller toward the ink distributor. The ink has to be spread evenly. Stop the press and wait a few seconds. Now move the press until you see a stripe of ink. Check the stripe width. This stripe is not wide enough. The stripe width can be adjusted on the operator side and on the drive side. Turning the red screw to the right will make the stripe wider. Distribute the ink again and stop the press. After waiting a few seconds, you can check the stripe width again. If the stripe is 4 millimeters or 0.16 inches wide, the ink form roller is exactly adjusted toward the distributor. The next step is the adjustment of the dampening form and ink form rollers to the plate. By a special function 01, you can set the dampening form roller on the plate. With special function 02, the ink form rollers are set on the plate. Set dampening and ink form roller on the plate. Wait a few seconds and set the rollers off again. Inch the press forward and check the width of the ink stripe on the plate. The pressure is not high enough and has to be readjusted. Mark the stripes on the plate. The dampening form roller can be adjusted with operator tool at the upper screws. When adjusting the inking rollers, you have to start with the second ink form roller. The required screws are pink and are underneath the ink fountain. The silver screws are for adjusting the third ink form roller to the plate. The first ink form roller is adjusted by the orange adjusting screw above the ink fountain. Turning the screw to the left will make the stripe on the plate wider. Please set the dampening and ink form roller back on the plate. Check whether the stripes are all equally wide. They should be 3 millimeters or 0.12 inches wide on all rollers.